Hey what's up guys, it's Lord Sando here, and in this video we're going to be talking about crafting in Deepwoken. It's been a long time since I've done a Deepwoken video, and there are a few reasons for that. Mainly because school just started, it's way harder for me to find the time to like, be able to do these theory type of videos every day, because they take like 3 or 4 hours to make, and the amount of research is just incredibly tiring. Also, I'm just kind of burnt out about talking about Deepwoken leaks. I'm pretty hyped for the game, and it's definitely going to be something that I enjoy playing and it's going to be the main focus of my channel. But I feel like as far as theories go, I've exhausted the majority of the theories that I could possibly think of. And with the amount of leaks that we're getting, which is next to none, it's going to be pretty hard to continue as Deepwoken comes closer to release. That being said, there are some topics that I haven't covered yet, and crafting is one of them. So crafting is going to be very important in Deepwoken, and Ragusa has mentioned this several times before. Most notably in the second info dump, he showed a picture of this guy gliding, and the captions read, My glide is looking pretty threadbare. Perhaps it's time I craft a new one. Deepwoken's crafting system will allow players to craft certain gear on the fly. Making use of this will prove necessary to your survival. So two important things are of note here. One is that gliders, and probably other similar tools, will have some form of durability, which is why he needs to make a new one. The second is that you can craft from anywhere, which is what we've known, and that it's important for your survival, so it's going to be useful for more than just trivial things. Looking at the picture of the glider, it looks very simple, and I'm assuming the recipe is going to be something as simple as just cloth and sticks, which are two materials that we've seen in the Deepwoken Crab League. Moving on, in this frame of Ragusa's Deepwoken stream, we can see him open up his inventory, and there are three important items of notice that we can see. One, the bamboo bundle. Two, summon castle. And three, produce spike. So these are very interesting, and the bamboo bundle is definitely crafting material. I just have no clue what it's going to be used for yet. The summon castle thing is also very interesting because potentially it could be used as like a tool for guilds in order to like set up a mobile base. It would serve as a strategic advantage for guilds who are able to situate themselves in the middle of a battlefield and sort of get a good structural advantage, but it could also potentially just be a dev spec just for Ragusa. The tool called Produce Spike is also intriguing because it could potentially be a uh, sort of like an accessory for buildings, like a barricades in front of a castle. This is getting incredibly speculative here, but if I'm right then what that means is that guilds are going to have to plan ahead when they want to take fights as they're gonna have to set up structures to make sure that they have every advantage possible. You may think I'm reaching here, but I do have some more evidence for this structure theory. In Nano Prodigy's His World video, we saw this item called a campfire pit. He only equipped this item in his inventory when he was outside in the open and not during the training room footage. So a fire pit is exactly what the name says. It's a thing that you put on the ground, and when you place it, it makes it easier for you to like make a campfire and you can light the sticks to set up a campfire. The difference between this and a normal campfire that you would find anywhere else in the map on Deepwoken is that you can use it in any situation, in any location. And this would basically allow you to use it in guild fights or use it after fighting NPCs or if you're anticipating like an ambush and you need to heal quickly then you can set this up in, in advance. The recipe to make this campfire pit is probably just wood and sticks you can get wood by using the wood cutting axe and cutting down trees in Deepwoken. In the Crab Leak, we saw an item called a flint, and this is probably going to be how non flame charm users are going to light their campfires. Now let's move on and talk about the blacksmith. So, the blacksmith is an NPC that we've only seen one time, which was in Agamatsu's Fort Merit video. He said that he wasn't meant to show this off, and Raguza and Archmage got mad at him for it and he didn't even realize that it made its way into the video. I think there are some important things that we can discover by looking at this leak. So Agamatsu ends the Fort Merit video with damaged armor, so he goes to the blacksmith to repair his armor. In this menu, we see a few options for what the blacksmith can do in Deepwoken. So the three options are craft something for me, repair my armor, and make something with these plans. Seeing how there's a separate crafting system for the player on, it, on their own, and there's one for the blacksmith, I'm gonna assume that since the player's one is to do with gliders and structures and things like that, the blacksmith's crafting system is gonna be based solely on weapons, as in you'll go to him to upgrade or to get a higher tier weapon. Repair my armor is pretty self-explanatory, Agamatsu showed what that was in his video, 
So when he took damage from the NPCs, he his armor got damaged. And so you go to the blacksmith and you talk to him and give him some money and he'll repair your armor back to full HP for you. So the last one is pretty interesting and it says schematics and plans and I'm gonna assume that this has got to do with shipbuilding and you're gonna talk to the blacksmith to make a ship for you. I assume that you're gonna need to get like a blueprint for the uh, ship that you want to build and you're gonna get need to get the wood and the materials required to craft that ship and then you talk to the blacksmith and then you give him some money as well and he will make that ship for you. The last thing I want to cover before I end this video is to do with the second info dump. We see this image of this really cool place and it looks like a quarry almost and the caption says Some islands have unique mobility options to assist you in exploring, such as the zip lines on Miner's Landing. What's the most interesting thing about this is the name of the island and Miner's Landing immediately sounds like the beginner's place where you're going to get ores in this game. In Nano Prodigy's uh, combat video, we can see an item called Pickaxe, and just like a woodcutting axe, this is obviously going to be used to farm materials. We've seen lots of different materials, such as diamond and coal, and since there are weapons such as the Dark Steel Greatsword, I'm going to assume that you're going to need to, to mine rare metals and then talk to the blacksmith if you want to create stronger weapons. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. I apologize if this video is a bit unorganized. I sort of just like compiled all the information and the theories that I had about crafting and tried to put it into one video. If you guys want to see more Deep Woken videos, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.